Diane Kola Barnard walks away the victor, retaining both her DA membership card and post in Parliament. However, she is fined 20,000 Rand and is not allowed to stand for any party position until after the 2019 elections. What's clear, the ghost of a Facebook post remains. The post uh, undermined where we want to go as a, as a party. Um, our political opponents uh, are very fond of, of using the stick of apartheid to beat us and, and suggest that we would like to go back there, which of course uh, nothing could be further from the truth. The political opponents were quick to pounce. The ANC relabeled the DA a racist apartheid apologist and defender of white supremacy. The Kola Barnat saga polarized both the public and the party. We are actually in the dark. We do not know what arguments she presented and what the quality of those arguments were and what criteria were used by the appeal committee in assessing those arguments. So that's very important. However, I do think that the big albatross for the DA is the question on race, whatever that means. And I think going forward, it's going to be very interesting to see how the party's leader, Musa Maimane, comes out to articulate this decision. For now, the federal executive and Maimane are studying the judgment. The Federal Executive Council still has the option of taking this ruling under review in a high court. However, though, the DA still has to deal with the negative perceptions created by Diane Kola Barnett's repost, as well as this decision to keep her in the party. It's almost inevitable, especially heading into the municipal elections, that other parties will use this outcome to their advantage. Aldrin Simpia, SABC News, Centre.